Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in operating system is the history of operating system. Examples of operating systems, advantages and disadvantages of operating system. So these are the topics that we are going to cover in this video. Okay, so now let's start that. What are the, first we will see about the history of operating system. The history of operating system has been evolving through the years. So there's a first generation, second generation. So uh, in that way, uh, we will see the evolution. So in the first generation, so it was started the 1945 to 55. So in the previous we, uh, years, uh, in the first generation, the electronic device that we used is a vacuum tubes. Okay, if you want to install the operating system, you need some electronic device, right? So in that only we are trying to install the uh, system, uh, software. So first generation, the electronic devices used is a vacuum tubes and the type of operating system device is a plug boards. Okay, there we are using the plug boards. And the second generation, it is from 1955 to 65, you call it as the second generation of the operating system. So the electronic devices in those days, we are uses the transistors and the type of operating system device that we use the bad systems. The bad systems is one of the type of the operating system device. And the third generation is from 1965 to 80, you call it as a third generation. So there we are used uh, the electronic device that we use the integrated circuits and coming to the type of operating system is the multi-programming type of operating system device we are using, we used. And in the fourth generation, coming to since 1980s, okay, so from here, the electronic device use a larger scale integrations and the type of operating system device is the PC. Okay, so the operating system device systems uh, were first developed in the late 1950s to manage the tape storage. So why first they started this operating systems? Uh, because of to manage the uh, tape storage, tape type of devices. So that's why they are introduces operating system. The General Motors Research Lab implemented the first operating system in the early 1950s for their IBM 701. Actually, students, this is everything. It's a theory part. But for your reference to understand the concept and for your make a note, I had given a point here. OK, even though if you read the terms, then you can easily understand. So here there is no need to explanation, but I want to provide a content to you. So that's why I had given this. In the middle 1960s, these operating systems started to use disks. Okay, but in the late 1960s, Okay, if you come to the late 1960s, the first version of the Unix operating system was developed. The first actually, the operating system that it is developed, it's a Unix operating system. Okay, so uh, it is, First, everyone think it is a Microsoft, but starting it is a uh, Windows, but it is not the Windows. First is a Unix operating system was developed. The first operating system built by Microsoft was the DOS. Okay, uh, there we are, everything is coming on the DOS prompt. Everything, uh, it's a commands. Command need to be given to the system so that the system can perform the operation. So everything, it's a Microsoft was built this operating system and what was the DOS? It was built in 1981 by pur purchasing the 86 DOS software from Seattle company. The present day popular operating system, Windows, whatever everyone is using, okay, Windows operating system, first came into existence in 1985. In the 1985, this operating system, the most popular Windows operating system is came into existence. Remember the date, the 1985, when a graphical user interface was created and paired with the MS-DOS. Previously, whenever the first operating system my, uh, Microsoft is created, okay, there we are pro working on the DOS without GUI. Okay, but in 1985, a graphical user interface was created and this graphical user interface is paired with the MS-DOS so that it becomes a full-fledged Microsoft operating system Windows. Now coming to the advantage of using the operating system, what is the advantage of using operating system? It allows you to hide details of hardware by creating an abstraction because the user, I'm the user, you are the user, everyone who is working on the system, you are all the users. You don't know what type of hardware that it is there. You are simply working whatever you want, right? Okay, 
how you are going to work because of the operating system only this operating system hiding all those de uh, details of the hardware and it is providing uh, the environment for you to work on it okay so this is uh, allows you to hide the details of hardware and it is easier to use with the uh, graphical user interface and these it is also offers an environment which a user may execute programs or applications the operating system must make sure that the computer system is convenient to use are you able to use your operating your system conveniently or not obviously are you able to use the mobile phones conveniently or not obviously we are using everything it's conveniently because this operating system with the help of this operating system it is make sure that the computer system is convenient to use operating system acts as an intermediary among applications and hardware components that is what i said it's act as an interface between the applications means the softwares whatever the apps that you are using so it acts as an uh, interface between the applications as well as the hardware components that is also one of the advantage it provides a computer system resource with easy to use formats and it acts as an intermediate between all hardware and the softwares of the system now coming to the disadvantage of using the operating system okay we have seen the advantages then what the disadvantage of using it if any issues occurs in operating system you may lose all the contents which have been stored in your system this is one of the biggest issue if you don't have any backup if you don't have any backup then obviously you are there is a loss of data is there so if any issue occurs in operating system you may lose all the contents which have been stored in your system and operating system software is a quite expensive for small size of organization which adds burden on them examples windows okay we need to purchase the operating uh, system right because nowadays whatever uh, system we are providing we, we they are installing the operating system itself okay for that we are also paying also right so operating system software is a quite expensive for small size organization which adds burden on them and it is never entirely secure as a threat can occur at any time there is no guarantee students that's why we are installing the some malware uh, caspersy like some antivirus softwares we are installing why we are installing all these things because the operating system is not providing any security when compared to the threats only i'm talking about the threats okay so to protect from the threats we need to install some other applications now coming to the different examples of the operating systems or so operating system you are having so many versions or there so many companies are providing different different types of operating system now let's see the windows the microsoft is providing the graphical user interface based pcs uh, those are all using the windows operating systems and gnu or linux uh these operating systems can be used on the personals workstations isp file and printer servers okay and uh, retire client server architecture also you can go with the linux operating system and mac os so the mac os it's only the apple company okay apple personals computers and workstations will use the macbooks and imac so in the apple personal computers we need to be install the mac uh mac os okay in the macbooks in imac mac operating system has to be installed and coming to the android android is a google's operating systems for smartphones tablets smart watches because uh, this is a compatible thing and it's a small device so for those small devices we are using the android operating system not the windows in your mobile phones all this android operating system is there it's a google's operating system and coming to the ios ios is also an apple's uh, workstation the apple uh, these ios will be uh, installed in only the iphones ipads and iP ipod touch means in the small gadgets you go with the ios in coming to the laptops and the pcs we can go for the mac os that is the main difference okay based on the gadgets and the size of the systems you can install the different types of operating systems okay and coming to difference between the 32 bit versus 64 bit operating systems everyone is getting a confused what type of operating system we need to be install means it is installed in our system so based on your system hardware and the operating system is also installed at the time of your uh, buying the systems not only in the mobile phones and the gadgets every electronic devices when there is a need of in installing the operating system they will check with the system's hardware also it need to be support 
so coming to the parameters if you take the architecture and software 32 bit is there 64 bit is also there for architecture as well as the software so if 32 bit allows 32 bit of data processing simultaneously so only 32 bit of data processing uh, will be performed simultaneously at a time not the 64. Suppose if the 64 bit is there, it can do 32, 64, whatever it may. Allow 64 bit of data process simultaneously. Now coming to the next, when you talk about the compatibility, when you talk about the compatibility, 32 bit application requires 32 bit operating systems and the CPUs. Whereas 60 bit applications require and 64 bit operating system and the CPU. When you're talking about the compatibility, if it is a 64 bit, uh, your operating system is 64 bit and the CPU, the hardware is also taking the 64 bit at a time. Now coming to the system available. All versions of the Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vistas and Windows XP, Linus, etc. So 32 bit is also their system available for all these versions. And for the 64 bit also, the system available is like the Windows XP professionals, Vista, Vista 7, Mac OS, and the Linux. Coming to the memory limits, when you're talking about the parameter memory limit, the 32 bit systems are limited to only 3.2 GB of RAM. Whatever the RAM that we are taking, okay, that the limit here is only 3.2 GB. You can't install, take more uh, size of the RAM because your uh, memory limit is only the 32 bit. Then coming to the 64 bit, uh, the 64 bit system allows a maximum of 17 billion gigabytes of RAM. So you can install the RAM size up to 17 billion gigabytes of RAM. Okay, so these are all the uh, different concepts like the history of uh, operating system and uh, advantages, disadvantages of the operating system. Thank you.